you know, let's say, let's say we head into a recession sometime in the next two years. I want what I've told people is you're going to live through four or five of them. A right, so that you know this yeah. is not abnormal, right? It's not a hundred year pandemic, but you've got to be ready to strike because recessions is where wealth can be built, right? You've told plenty examples of the guy buying two hundred fifty k houses that are worth seven fifty. You're not going to get that. You're not going to get a sixty percent discount in a in a bull market. Mm-hmm. So you know we're going to have one. What's Graham going to do in the next recession? I have no clue because I am. COVID taught me not to time the market. I ah. mean, that, that was such a interesting time where for those first few weeks, you thought the world was going to end. Yeah. Just but now <laughs> in B-shape. hindsight, yeah, in hindsight, it was like the best time to buy it was that. So I've stopped thinking about when is a good time? When is a bad time? Okay. It, just dollar cost. Average. I've just dollar cost averaged. Um, real estate is the only thing for me where I feel like not market timing, but there could be just bad deals out there and i see more mm-hmm. bad deals than good deals true so Today. like for yeah like for me when i started buying real estate it to, it was just such a no-brainer where like right. i knew i couldn't lose on this because to build the property was going to cost three yeah. times what i was buying it for so i knew <laughs> you that, call like, to get insurance and you're like you bought that for what yeah so <laughs> yeah. but but like the numbers just like didn't make sense like it in in a good way because it's like okay so the property will pay for itself in six years, I'm buying it for a third of what it would cost new to build. It's unsustainable to stay this way. Right. It doesn't make any sense. So like I felt so assured. Everything that I bought, um, I felt assured. I I've, I've been so confident that I'm getting a deal on it. There's upside on it. I'm not going to lose money. I've not seen that the last two years. Okay. Um. So I've not bought anything. Right. So, you know, for me, real estate's something where, like, for me, I just have to be so sure that, like, it's, okay. it's a slam dunk deal. I'm sure they exist, but I also don't have the time to They're more dedicate. likely to happen in a recession. Yeah, uh, way more likely. Yeah. So, yeah, so if you see a good deal, I think whether it's a good market or a bad market, and, you, and the numbers make sense, and there's upside on it, it doesn't matter, but you'll find more yeah. of them. Yeah, the opportunity. And, and again, uh, the whole goal of this is real estate is to not gamble. You've got to do the work. And that's what I see everything you've talked about is you do the work, you go deep, and then you can, you know what an average is or what good is, and then you can go do great deals. And I think you'll have that opportunity in the next recession. I think I heard somewhere the next thing you're looking at is a commercial building. I'd like to, but again, I'm not seeing any. Right. Oh, sorry, I thought I heard something. Okay. Let me say it again. But again, I'm not seeing anything, which is which is odd. Um, and, and that's something where I... I I'm not like an expert at commercial real estate, and so I have a lot of self doubt on. No, this would be for self use. No, no. Oh, okay, no, just to rent out. Okay, yeah. Wow, um, commercial versus residential. Okay, yeah. I uh, I just think the workload on something like that. I'd rather something a little more sure. hands off with like yeah, a triple do a triple net. net. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's 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 a really odd time because borrowing rates are really high, and a lot of the properties are cap rating below what yeah, you, got you would pay an interest. Yeah. yeah, so if the property makes 6%, but a loan is 7%, you got to put so much money down just for it to break even. Yeah, And then I'm thinking, where's the upside? Why would I choose that over a treasury that you could lock in at less with no risk whatsoever and more liquidity than mm-hmm. that? And I think, well, what about the tax benefits? And I, I've gone so deep on some of these properties trying to like, yeah, make them work. Yeah, trying to make it work. I just, I don't see it. But I worry I'm wrong mm. because if interest rates come back down, now could be the time to buy right? because interest rates are high, mortgage rates are high, maybe there's fewer sellers. So maybe now is the time. It's like short-term pain, uh-huh. but if they lower interest rates substantially this year, then all of a sudden, those properties are going to be worth more. So I don't I could be wrong. And so I worry about that. Yeah. I don't know. But, I, but there's, I've yet to see a deal where it's like, Done. I, I want it. There's one that I made uh, one offer on, but they had two other offers at the same time, and it went way over asking. Mm-hmm. And I knew it, but even like, on commercial properties. But even th- like that was the deal for me. I was like, makes sense. Okay. But two other people said, saw it as well. Makes sense, and I'm going to pay more. Yeah, makes a lot of sense. I'm going to pay more. Yeah. Okay. 